What's going on, everyone? It is your boy, Face Scarzy here. And I am literally re-recording this. I don't know if my emotions are going to max what I had before. But um, the first thing that I want to cover is I haven't been uploading again. And I'm sorry, guys. I, I've been pretty shit at this. Um, but in my defense, Pokemon Go has taken over my fucking life, man. It, it seriously has, though. Like, four days straight I've been playing. So, the other thing that I want to talk about, and I know that I am late to the party, but hang on. God damn it. I hate Black Ops 3 at times, man. Like, fuck, this is so retarded. All right, fucking go. We're working on the fucking Galil today. Um, but, so for the first time since 2005, Call of Duty is going to be a non-yearly fucking release. Now, I'm going to say this now. This could be really fucking good for us. It could also be really fucking bad. And here's why. Why it could be bad. Now, let's just say next Call of Duty game is going to be Modern Warfare 2 2022. All right? What if that game is just like Vanguard, just like Modern Warfare, and just like Cold War, right? I mean, you look at Vanguard, Cold War, and Modern Warfare, at least my perspective... I made videos on it on both of those games at launch. A lot of them too. But the, it's just a cycle, right? Uh, I, I, never mind. It's just a cycle, right? I mean, Vanguard. I, I fell in love with it. But then it just got too fucking stale. Cold War. I fell in love with it. It, it was a, genuinely a good game. But then after a while... I just started getting pissed off, and then I just didn't give a fuck. Oh, and then I got banned, I got unbanned, and still, I didn't give a fuck because, well, yeah, I missed way too much. Get shit on, bud. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I, I, I'm gonna go over here. Modern Warfare 2019. We all know my opinions on that game. I truly didn't like it that much. But I wanted to play it and make content on it because it was the new game. But I just, after a while, I just simply could not do it. I'm not even joking. I just could not do it. I hated the game so much. I hated the way the game plays. I, I just did not like it. And what if that's the case for Modern Warfare 2 2022? Because in the spam of like... Probably two months. I, I quit playing both Vanguard, Cold War, and Modern Warfare just like that. What if that is going to be like Modern Warfare 2 2022? Where you, you just don't give a fuck anymore. You just don't give a fuck anymore, right? Um, That could be really bad. Because if you don't like a certain game, are you going to play it? Short answer, fuck no. Yeah, well, why would you? Why would you play a game that you don't like? Why would you upload a game that you don't like playing? It doesn't make sense. So, why this could be good, right? There's, there's a, like, there's extra time for these developers to make a game which could result in something really good, right? It, it could... I haven't gotten a single kill. It could go back to, you know, let's just say Modern Warfare 2, right? Where we enjoyed the fuck out of that game. It's still my favorite game ever. And it's like, what, 12, 13, 12 years old. Right? Like, it, it could, they could make a game that good. The only problem is, and I know Activision got bought by Microsoft, but still, this is fucking Activision. Right? 
they are going to fuck us over in some capacity. I'm it, like, we know this. We just do. So, my opinions, and trust me when I say this, feel free to fucking disagree with me. Like, everyone is entitled to their own fucking opinions. Do you think it's a good thing? That, that's cool, bro. I, I, I have mixed feelings, right? Like, this could be good. This could also be really bad for us. Um... But if you want to disagree with me, just, just go into the comments and speak your piece because I'm genuinely curious what you guys think. I, I seriously am. Um, but yeah, all in all, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Like, this could be really fucking good and it could be really fucking bad. It really could. Honestly, all that I can say is we'll have to just wait and see. You know, like, there's no way of telling if this is going to be good or bad for us. We will literally just have to wait and see, right? So, now that that's out of the way, let's uh, let's just play some good old Black Ops 3. Shit. They spawn me right here, let's go. Actually, let's go right here. Come out, my pretty eyes. Oh my god, get shit on, bud. He's over here, he's over here. Ball running. Get shit on, I'm gonna go right over here. Shit on him, let's fucking go. And we still lost? How much XP? Not much at all, man. Only way this ends is with you in a body bag. Damn, bro. The fuck, man? How many kills did I get? I had 16 kills? Uh, oh, okay. I mean, okay. I fucking knew it, okay. Lit supply drop opening. It's gonna happen now, boys. Uh, first we're gonna leave this lobby. Alright, boys, let's see what we get. Probably gonna be nothing but complete ass cheeks. Oh. Excel Depression! Do I Well, that just um, I, I don't want to exist after that. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the video here Honestly though guys, I truly hope you guys enjoy and honestly Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of the yearly release shift for COD um, But yeah, it's been your boy face Garzi and I'm out peace